Ben, thanks for talking to us. Um, we've obviously, just in the last sort of hour or so, learned that you're going to be taking charge of South Africa versus England in the semi-final. How, how are you feeling about that? Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing. Obviously, I found I found out yesterday that they're going to pull me to you know another another massive game like that. So um, yeah, huge achievement. I'm I'm really proud to be involved in it, and um, it's kind of like it doesn't stop. You know, we um, we just come off a massive game, and you know we prepare for another one, and you know even just as important, you know, being a semi-final for both both teams. You've like you say, you've just come off a massive game. Yeah. The hosts obviously bowing out of the tournament uh, to the defending champions. What was the atmosphere like for you? Have you experienced anything like that before? It's kind of gone up every level, every game I've done. I did South Africa Island um, in pool play, and that was probably the biggest atmosphere I've ever experienced. Start of France, pack, fans. Then obviously a quarter final with things riding on it. Um, you know, that was incredible. And I think having most of the stadium there full of French fans and also the South Africans, you know, they're very loud. Um, when we're warming up, the songs beforehand, the singing, like you can feel it. Um, it, it is incredible, and then um, obviously with the with uh, the game, you know, it was just it was it was a massive, massive game. How was the intensity? Because there were some huge moments of that game, big pressure on you. How was that for you to handle? I mean, it's what we what we train for, it's what we we, we practice, and um, you know, I've been through scenarios like that before, um, which I've got right, which I've got wrong, and you know, that's how I learn. Um, and then you know, you just have to be in the moment, just you know, make the best decision that you can, and. You don't really hear the crowd, but you feel it. You do feel the pressure. You know the stakes are high. You know what the outcome can mean. Um, but you've got to trust your decision making um, and your team that's with you as well. So, obviously, the hosts weren't too thrilled to get knocked out, and there were some interesting words from Antoine Dupont after the game for you. Have you have you spoken to him afterwards? Have you sort of cleared the air or anything like that? No, no. Like um, like I think it's you know space for the players and the teams. You know, it's obviously a very emotional time, and you know I just try and um, respect that and keep the space. And look, I think. Um, players, coaches, you know, they're going to say things, um, whether you win, whether you lose. Um, I know that we're never perfect as referees. Um, I definitely, you know, you make errors in the game. Um, but I think, you know, comments that players can make, they can, they can do that after the game. And it's kind of in the heat of the battle, you know, things are said. So, um, look, I'm, I'm sure everything's fine. We'll, um, you know, we've, we've done my review and we'll reach out and, um, you know, be able to get things back on track as well. Um, but understand, obviously, the sentiments after the after a big match like that. The locals are leaving you alone? Yeah, yeah, no, they are. Like, um, it's, it's, it's massive for any country and I think having a home nation here, we saw the emotion after the, the New Zealand Island game and I think we had the same emotion after the, the France and Africa game, whether each, each, either team won, you know, we're going to be the same thing. So that's sort of the situation we find ourselves in as referees, but we just got to try our best and do our best and um, that's, that's how it goes. I know you've had a bit of social media drama in the past, how's your, how's your inbox? Oh yeah, it's full, like it's full <laughs> and I understand, I actually understand a lot of the French so they kind of doesn't help it either, but um, it's part and parcel. Um, I've got to do my review with my boys, and um, you know, we we did that pretty pretty thoroughly, and we'll learn from the, the things we obviously um, uh, need to work on, but also you know take take stock of the, the really good things we did in the game as well. You say you know a bit of French. We did notice a sort little of moment during that quarter final. You you broke into a bit of French. Where did that come from? You've been storing that up? No, well, I lived I lived here when I was younger. I did an exchange um, when I was 16, so I um, learned it then and sort of built it up for games over um, the last few years. Um, but I was very sort of aware of that game where um, you know, English probably isn't the first language of a lot of the South African players, nor is it the French players. I don't speak Afrikaans or you know, the other languages in South Africa, so I just decided to you know, just go fully Kiwi accent English, <laughs> um, you know, just to sort of be fair in that game, and, and that was sort of my decision. But um, I did break into a little bit at the end as I was trying to control one of the scrums. Yeah. yeah, how valuable is that for you as a referee, being able to communicate effectively with the players, especially when there's so much writing on these games? I think it's important. Um, you've got to pick your moments. Uh, I think it's something that you know we should be all looking at as referees. Um, there's a lot of different languages out there: Spanish, Georgian, Japanese. You know, we should probably think about maybe you know communicating all those different languages in the game. Um, so it's something that first and foremost I use to try and respect the players, um, and also let them know effectively you know what I'm what I'm seeing in the match so that they can relate that to their team. So um, I think it's an important tool that you know we should we should all think about as referees. Hey, how excited are, uh, obviously you're excited for this game, but how excited are the rest of your all Kiwi team for, for the semi-final? So really, really excited. So we had the all Kiwi team um, for the quarter-final, and that was, that was really special, knowing that I had Paul, James, Brendan, who I've worked with for many, many years back in New Zealand, be there with me, and they had my back. Um, we had one of the ARs going home, um, a few of the assistant referees leave this week. Um, so I've got an Irishman, Andrew Brace, um, into the team with me, but yeah, still have Paul, still have Brendan, and, it just really helps me because we go from one game to the next and we don't have to start a game. We've got the same team and we just we roll into the next one and, and I know that we're going to be able to you know, deliver a really high standard for, for the game this Saturday. So, I mean, this is what they live for as well, right? Yeah, it is. It is. It's, um, I think everyone thinks about you know, the players and the country. You know, they love rugby, but 
as referees. We love rugby as well, and you know, we really love putting on a, um, a good job for the players. So that's something that you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try and do this weekend for the teams. Um, with, but I can't do it by myself, so I really need the guys on the sideline and the guy upstairs in the box to really help me out there. So um, I know there will be some, there will be some more big moments like last weekend, um, but I'm confident we'll be able to um, get through it and do a good job. Now it's weird for a referee because I imagine you, you obviously want to referee all the biggest games, but for you to referee the biggest game probably means the All Blacks can't make the final. So do you sort of find yourself in this weird situation of not supporting the All Blacks? This no, weekend? no, definitely not. Like I definitely wear my All Black jersey um, when I'm supporting them. Um, for me, these are the biggest games. Um, you know, the pool play, being in a World Cup is the biggest tournament I've ever been to, and you know, being here is, is good enough for me. Um, to be able to do a quarter final last week and the semi final for me is, is, is fantastic. So that's all I really need to do. It's the challenge that I love, and it's definitely going to be a challenge, if not you know, the same as a final. So um, I'm hoping that you know, New Zealand can do a really good job, and you know, if they're good enough to beat Argentina, um, then I'll be, you know, as a fan in the stand um, next week, you know, supporting them. Um, which I think will be great. And um, I remember when we've won the World Cup before and it's such a good feeling back home when that happens. So for me, that's, um, you know, I'm, I'm a New Zealander and I love rugby, so that's, that's exactly what I want to see. Well, I guess you'll know the lay of the land, I suppose, for you by the time your game rolls around this weekend. So all the very best, mate. Thanks, you mate. And your team. Cheers. Thanks, Thank you.